Hey guys, sorry about that back there. It was a little hard to hear me, huh? A little hard to manage, maintain, me being all long distance and all. <laughs> sorry about that. But, speaking of long distance, I'm here today to give you guys tips about how to cope with long distance relationships. So what just happened back there won't happen with you and your significant other. Gotcha, guys. Oh, sorry about that. Just trying to make, trying to make time for you guys, trying to set this thing. But, speaking of making time, it is very important that you make time for each other when you're in a long distance relationship. So try to make sure that you sit down, try to set a nice time block throughout your day with no distractions so you can talk to that person like either on the phone or email them. So that way you guys can tell each other that, about everything that happened throughout your day, tell them about your friends, your coworkers, whatever, so that way you guys will still feel like you're in each other's lives, even though you guys are so far apart. This seems like a good day to visit her. And I got all this time right here. Yeah, that's the perfect day. Oh, hey guys, sorry about that. Just trying to exercise our next tip, which is to plan ahead. It's very important when you're in a long distance relationship that you set time out of your schedule and make sure that you have the perfect day to go visit them. Because I know it is far away, but you want that face to face time. Everyone needs that face to face time. Like just sitting on the phone and emailing them sometimes just isn't enough. So you make sure that you plan ahead, find the perfect like week or two that you're free, and go out and visit them. I know that's what I'm doing. May 18th. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> I guess I was relaxing a little too much. But, speaking of relaxing, it is very important that you relax when you're in a long-distance relationship. So, for example, when you call that person and they don't pick up on the first ring, don't jump to conclusions and automatically assume that they're out with someone else living the night up, you know? Maybe they're busy. Maybe they're in the bathroom. Maybe they're doing homework. Who knows? Just relax. Roll with the punches. Don't make assumptions because if you truly do love this person, you have to trust them without a shadow of a doubt, okay? Because when you're in a long distance relationship, it can be very hard to trust, but trust is key, okay? So just believe in me, relax, okay? I promise everything will work out. Oh, hey guys. Well, just to wrap things up, it's very important that, for my last tip, that you love this person and you trust them without a shadow of a doubt, okay? Because if you don't love them or trust them, the being in a long distance relationship can be very hard to maintain and manage. It'll cause you a lot of stress and a lot of grief. So you just might as well end it, okay? So you have to love this person with all your heart and trust them, okay? Because if you don't, there's no point, all right? All right, with that, gotta end it. But you know how I always do it, Absa. Make your fantasies of the day be realities of the morrow. Love you, Absa. Yeah.